Oh my gosh. I wish you were here. I wish there was a real location and we were sitting here sipping wine, tasting wine in a location like this. Wouldn't it be perfect? Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to another episode of Nancy's Wine Diaries. I'm so excited to have you guys stop in and spend a little bit of time with me. You know it means more to me than I can ever let you know, so thank you everyone from the bottom of my heart. If you are new to my channel, I hope you consider hitting that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join me for future videos. They're not all, all about wine. I do unboxings and other things too, but this I just kind of it just kind of happened somehow last year I I thought about it and just decided to go for it so anyway so um yeah so I do different different wineries um I got a subscription to a wine club I get the vino subscription box and I just love tasting the wines and trying to figure out the flavors and I used to only be a sweet wine girl if it was dark red if it was dry keep it away I don't want it and this past year just doing different samplings and tastings I find that I really enjoy sipping on those wines and enjoying them this winter not sure if that's going to be the same this spring and summer when it's nice and warm outside but I know that I can appreciate them and and I think it's just all from just doing the, this channel and um and chit chatting with everyone here but anyway so we got a lot of fun tonight so um, you know, every time, you know, you go onto YouTube and you're waiting for different videos to load and you always got things off there in your feed. Well, this one kept popping up. Baldwin Vineyards out of, I think it's Pine. I just looked it up too. Out of Pine Bush, New York. And I believe that's in the Hudson Valley. And so it was Baldwin's. And so I finally clicked on it. And the one I clicked on, it hadn't been, there wasn't many comments on it. It had been over a year. So I went to their YouTube channel and nothing just seemed recent on it. It was everything was past a year. So I'm like, gee, I wonder if they're even still in business. So I went to the website. Sure enough, they are. And they had some wines that sounded spectacular. So, you know, I just had to taste them. So I ordered three. It was a really hard decision picking three. They have got some homemade sangrias. They don't ship them. They put them in mason jars. If you go for a wine tasting there, you can get them by the glass. You can buy it by the mason jar. They had, um, uh, they just had some really good sounding one sangrias. And I think maybe because it's in a mason jar, so it's not tight, tight, tight. And they put a little bit of soda in it too. Um, so yeah, I think that's why they didn't do it, but they got dessert wines. They've got like apple, strawberry, spiced apple wine. They sound really, really good. If you do get to go to that area, I don't know exactly where it is, but they do wine tastings there. So for uh, $15, you can sample six one ounce samples. You get to take home an etched souvenir glass. And of course you get crackers to um, you know, cleanse your palate or whatever. So they have some dry white wines, some red wines, and semi-sweet. So one of the ones that I really wanted to have tonight was, uh, it's called Autumn Crush. And it's like a fall wine with pumpkin flavors and apples. And at first I was thinking that oh, it was probably seasonal. They probably don't even have it anymore. So I, that came in. And so when I did my grocery order this week to have it delivered on Friday, I had ordered a rotisserie rotisserie chicken I got charged for it but it was not in my delivery so I mean they gave me credit but I really wanted that rotisserie chicken tonight with this autumn crush Ugh. so this is only 10.7 percent alcohol so it's not strong at all so this autumn crush it's a unique blend of Hudson Valley apples pumpkins and hops yeah 
So this is going to have to wait because I, I think I'd like to try this with the chicken to see if it's something maybe I want to have it in the fall or something with Thanksgiving turkey or something like that. So another one that I picked is embers. And the labels are all pretty much the same. And embers, it's a semi-sweet, it's a fruity red wine made from Cabernet Franc and I don't know what how to say this right, de Chinanc grapes. It's bursting with fruit forward flavors with a hint of earthiness. So that, that one sounded good. The one that I'm going to do tonight is a Merlot and it's called Hudson Harmony. And this sounds incredible. And this was uh, only 12%, and this is only 12%, so it's not like it's a really strong wine. So this Hudson Harmony, it says it's a dry, light-bodied red wine made with 80% fresh blueberries. Yeah, blueberries and 20% Merlot. So I thought that sounded really good. I've got the uh, cork out, so I just had that breathing, and I made a couple of snacks tonight probably the best part of wine diaries so yeah so I just got some uh, some cheese here I forgot even what it was I forgot what kind it was not that awful got some turkey pepperoni these crackers from townhouse crackers they're tomato basil they are so so good and then I got a uh, croissant bread I had that delivered today and I put it in the oven with some fresh brie cheese on it just so it melted and softened a little bit and then I put some blueberry pie filling on top of that never had that before but I thought that just sounded good and it would go so good with the blueberry wine the blueberry merlot wine so I'm probably not going to eat that in front of you because I know I'm going to make a mess but yeah so if you have ever been in the Hudson Valley going through different wine tastings let me know if you've ever stopped in in there and and what wines do you recommend and if it's something that you're close enough to and you say hey that sounds like a good thing to do this weekend let me know how you love the sangrias oh and some of the other wines that maybe I should try so anyway we've got this open and pour a little bit in here it's a very light color put that down and of course you can see um, we're in a brace. I think I just uh, did a lot of typing and yeah, I got tennis elbow or whatever they call that. It's very translucent. It's very light. Almost like a punch or, or something. I you see a little bit of legs. Almost a little bit of it coating the glass, but not much. I can smell the blueberries. Alrighty kind of want you know how do they make it dry but it's fruity at the same time it's, it's crazy alrighty alrighty cheers everyone this will probably post next Friday so cheers everyone I hope you had a great week you're ready for a great great weekend happy Friday night cheers everyone It is light. You can taste the dryness, the tannins. I didn't even really smell it. That was bad. A little light, light tannins. The Merlot, it's like that velvety kind of smooth texture, but it's got a very light blueberry taste to it. It just, it's a, it's not strong at all. And when I smell it, I just kind of smell, I smell the blueberries. I smell almost something maybe like cherries maybe a little bit of apple in here it's tart but maybe that's the blueberries that make it tart like that not real leathery sometimes merlots can kind of have like a leather tobacco -y thing i don't really notice that too much just maybe a little oak oak from the, the barrels oh but it's light it's fruity it's still dry so it's something that you can sip not guzzle and just kind of enjoy it with some snacks yeah and we're gonna have another sip it is so light i mean if you were thinking you don't like merlot wines 
this is, is a really nice light Merlot with the blueberries in there. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in, spending some time with me. You know, it means more to me than I can ever let you know. And I hope you guys go out and have a great weekend and we will all chat again soon. Love you guys. Bye.